There are many challenges facing the aircraft gas turbine industry. We want to create a unique aerodynamic facility to support this need. The original vision of Professor Stan Stevens laid the foundations for our work with Rolls-Royce that's really become the gold standard in collaboration between academia and industry. In the 1960s, the work led to a change in combustor architecture for Rolls-Royce and the aero gas turbine industry. This laid the foundations for the start of a world-class collaboration. Stuart Miller saw the benefit of collaborating with a network of universities and in 1991 the partnership between Loughborough and Rolls-Royce was formalised into the Rolls-Royce University Technology Centre of Combustor Aerodynamics. The Loughborough UTC has grown from a team of six people working on just five projects to almost 50 people working on over 40 different projects per year with funding from both government and industry. In 2001, the group moved into the new facilities and this was soon followed in 2008 by the opening of the Stan Stevens on Steady Fluids Lab. This has led to more industry-focused learning and research, including PhDs, postdoc research, and gives opportunities for students and academics for worldwide collaboration with a focus on sustainable aviation. This culminated in 2019 with the opening of the £15 million National Centre in Combustion and Aerothermal Technology. NCAT takes the collaboration to another level and will pave the way towards industry goals for sustainable aviation. For 50 years we've been turning great ideas into excellent research and excellent research into groundbreaking technology for probably Britain's most iconic company. And with the development that we have of the National Centre, we're now going to be able to take that up to a whole new level, both in terms of our research ambition, but also in terms of our ability to work directly together. Loughborough researchers, Rolls-Royce engineers working together routinely, and it's only through that really very intimate way of working together that we're really going to be able to address the big challenges that come with the net zero targets for 2050. The collaboration with Loughborough University is critical to our future ambition for a sustainability agenda. Rolls-Royce has announced its ambition to become net zero and improving the efficiency of our products and testing new fuels and new power is a critical part of that. An example of sustainable impact savings was work we undertook on the Trent XWB where we've saved 0.25% fuel consumption. It equates to about 70 million tonnes of CO2 saved per year. ATI is investing in NCAT to deliver low emissions combustion technology, secure that technology in the UK and secure long-term pipeline of engineering talent for the future. It's pretty much 30 more years until 2050 when we've got the net zero target and that's what is going to absolutely characterise the work we do in this amazing facility that we've got now and in the collaboration that we have with Rolls-Royce. Thank you.